So um, it, it things are pretty fucking nuts right now at the time we're recording this. Yeah. The, yeah. We got a breaking news story that Dom and I am aware of, but Paul has not heard. I have not heard this, no. It's that coronavirus is in Paul's house. Get out, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's uh, it just happened. I would just watched a video of uh, the stadium freaking out about it. But uh, yeah, it, at the uh, Utah Jazz, um, who was it? The Utah Jazz and the Timberwolves. Mm-hmm. I think it might have been in Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no. It was OKC and the Utah Jazz. And it was yeah. in Oklahoma. Mr. Rudy Gobert, whose work I'm not familiar with as a basketball player. Rudy Gobert? Gobert, I'm so sorry. I like that man. He's very tall. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, let's see. Uh, this is from Ben Golliver. Shout out to the GOAT podcast. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, he's an NBA journalist that I like and I follow. Okay. And does a great podcast. Anyway, the NBA has decided to indefinitely suspend the 2019-2020 season following Wednesday night's game after a Utah Jazz player tested positive Uh-oh. for coronavirus. Oh, shit. Yes, and and if I may add on to it, I mean, the NBA being canceled is the biggest thing. My favorite detail of that story is, what, within, like, that same night? I'm not sure of the exact timeline, but during a, like, press junket, Rudy Gobert, like, touched all of the mics at the press conference as a joke. Oh. Talking about oh coronavirus. Oh, my God. He was then and tested. He is, and he is on the Utah Jazz. Oh, Wait, is, that the, the, is that the player who tested positive? Yes, he was then tested positive for coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a tweet about like players not wanting to be back on the court because they don't want to get it. The NBA season is suspended. So not it's not his fault. Rudy Gobert t- spit in the face of God and God. He tried, he tried to defy the Caroni and he got it. Yeah. Uh, do you know who else got? Do you know who else got? Oh, uh, d- I'm, t- I'm, coronavirus. Too emotionally, I'm too emotionally distraught about this. <laughs> I heard this. It's too. my favorite one because they could just they could just start filming the movie now. <laughs> it's fucking Tom Hanks. <laughs> Tom Hanks in coronavirus as the white nice guy who got coronavirus. <laughs> like probably our favorite. I'm, I'm I'm all over like standing celebrities. That's America's so favorite, dumb. without a doubt. America's but he's America's favorite. favorite. Tom Hanks is America's favorite. I just have to interject and say he really disgusted me when he was doing the press tour for Mister Rogers, uh-huh. and he said, <laughs> and he said. He said, it's Tom Hanks, it's Mr. Rogers. What more do I have to say? Like, clearly his people were fucking saying that. And he was like, oh, Did he yeah, really like say that. that? Like, whoever talks about themselves that way is a maniac. <laughs> Did he really say that? Yes, he was like, it's Tom Hanks, it's Mr. Rogers. I mean, what more do you have to say? I don't know. I kind of, I agree with the guy, so. Do you think that there was more that they needed to say, Paul? I just agree with him is all I'm saying. I'm 100% on board with his platform, with his Mr. Paul, Rogers Paul, you platform. got coronavirus, oh. dude. <laughs> anyway, go on. Wait, yes. I need to know though. Besides jokes, did did he actually have coronavirus? No, no, he Is does. Dan- he does have coronavirus. Yes. I don't. Oh my god, what's going on? <laughs> it's oh, it's crazy not so town. But you were telling a story, Paul, of Chad, and I really interjected. So oh, I, I don't even remember because I'm lost in mourning for Tom Hanks. Uh, we well, were talking about Tom Hanks. <laughs> I not to not to. Uh, Start a conspiracy theory, but why not talk about it on this podcast? I lo- no, start I, one, please. I saw a point online that I at least thought was fair that according to reported cases, mm-hmm. there were something like 130 cases right now in Australia positive for coronavirus. Okay. Are you telling wow. me that Tom Hanks was one of 130? Wait, he got it in Australia? Yeah, he's in Australia apparently shooting Elvis. That's what I could tell from the news stories. He's shooting like an Elvis biopic. I don't know why it's in Australia. We don't know that he was wasn't in California briefly though, because you know there, there's a lot out there. You guys got a lot oh, going sure. on. Well, I guess my conspiracy theory is less about blaming Australia and more like I we already have a limited amount of coronavirus tests. I think I saw the number today that was like the we have seventy five thousand tests in the nation right now. Mm-hmm. Like that was the number. Uh, there's going to be a thing where, like, the celebrities get it all first. Uh, it's becoming dystopian sci-fi movie where they all get to test and, like, check. We all might have COVID right now. Yeah, well, that's definitely yes, true. Yes, that's absolutely true. Because if you are unfamiliar, which, you know, this podcast will probably come out 
I don't know, four, five days for yeah, you're gonna we record. Yeah, you're gonna be fine. Yeah, you you may you may know more about it by the time you hear this. It may be even crazier and maybe something you can't laugh about. You probably will be able to laugh about it. We might it. all be locked but, down. Um the uh the the thing is is that it, it lies dormant in your system for one to two weeks and then you get symptoms. Yeah. Oh my god. And that's oh why god. it's been, that's why it's like such a pain because people are walking around with it unbeknownst. And it's a you pain see, it's a pain convincing people that are idiots that think it's all a big hoax and it's like no it's happening right now you I, freaking ding dongs I, I, uh, I saw yeah. i saw a video uh a couple days ago of a fox on a fox news of a trump supporter saying i don't believe the coronavirus is real i don't believe what the democrats say about coronavirus i'm like what is happening well you know what Caroni's gonna be taking a trip down to his house pretty soon Caroni's papyrus he's coming for you baby. <laughs> Caroni's papyrus that's how you get it He's, he's like the Santa Claus of disease. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't come down your chimney. He comes through your water pipes. How do we want to scare people? Sure. He comes out of your toilet up your butthole. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Don't try to. It's like Ghoulies and Ghoulies 2. Okay. And Ghoulies yeah. 3 back to college. Okay. Yeah. Don't sit uh, on your toilet. Don't. I think it's called back to college. Oh, wait. Maybe Ghoulies 2 is the one where they go to college. Anyway. Um, coronavirus is real. It's got Rudy Gobert, uh, Tom Hanks, and countless others. By the time you hear this podcast, e E3 three got what else got happened? E three got canceled today. Not the biggest deal, but like E mm-hmm. three got canceled. Uh, South by Southwest was canceled. I'm hoping this all wraps up in about two weeks because there's a rave I want to go to at the beginning <laughs> of April. <laughs> Dude, Dime, you can't. You cannot go to that rave in April. Oh, if it's all—I mean, if it's all cleaned up by then, I can. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I guess. Like, if we get them all in the next couple of weeks, we'll be fine. Dom, you're gonna be What's dancing. Interesting? You're gonna be dancing, and you'll be like all into it, and your eyes are closed, and you're spinning and fucking juking and shit. And you bump into someone, you turn around to like be like, "It's cool, man." And then fucking Caroni Papyrus is gonna be standing there, oh, raving he's out right running. there. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. You hit me. My name is Mr. Papyrus. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, um, I, what was the other thing I wanted to say about this? Oh, it is so bizarre to me that, I mean, it makes sense, but people right now, the language about Corona right now is good. I hope everybody I don't like gets it. Uh-huh, or like, uh-huh. good. I, all the boomers will get it and they'll fucking die. Mm-hmm. Like, I've never. I've, this is for the first time, and maybe this is in a response to a lot of things politically right now, and maybe things politically four years ago and up to this point. Um, people don't give a fuck. They're ready to see other people die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're, yeah, we've... they're ready to see the older, weaker people who they uh, are very frustrated with to die. Well, and as Chad said earlier, the, the celebs are getting it. They're ready for the new school of celebs to come in, for the old school the to young, get killed out. The young uh, people young who have genetic immunity to coronavirus. Mm-hmm. You know, Chad, I've been hearing, actually, like, if you probably look at Google Trends, cull and culling No, spiked. what? Yeah, this is not what right I now. wanted for the culling. This is not what I wanted at all. I we, well, that's it. the thing. That's the yeah. thing about cullings, Chad. Is that they're never the way you want them to be. <laughs> I, if this was like a virus that was like attacked you on merit, you know what I mean? Like if it was based on your like good deeds and and if you were a shitty person. Uh, well, I'm sorry. What is our holiday spirit's name? Karoti? Karoti? Oh, uh, it's whatever you want. It's it's shifting. It's evolving. Go yeah. ahead and swing. I mean, uh, like I mean, that. Slink is our holiday spirit, but go Kar- on. Karoti, Karoti Vi Vi is, is what I, my brain remembers it as. <laughs> Karoti Vivi, the the trickster of springtime. <laughs> this is our Easter bunny, right, right, right. Yeah, but by the way, my can- my canon is that like he is frozen every winter, right? Like he gets locked in ice, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like in Abominable Snowman of Pasadena. You mean? Yes, and when the spring comes and thaws him out. He starts going into the sewers and up people's butts through their toilets. He ha- well, yeah, he has to rec- like when it's when it gets hot. Coronavirus has to enter the deep dark sewers to cool off. Yes, and- he's like he's like uh, Pennywise. Yes, yeah, but he cannot breathe underwater, so he has to constantly swim out of people's toilets and go <gasps> and just get some air and then jump back down, and that's when he spreads it to 
your butthole if you're sitting on the toilet at the time. I, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if this happens to you guys, but it, it, during the spring and, and summer, you'll find that your toilet seat is randomly popped open occasionally. I'll just, I'll just go ahead and say it. Yeah, go ahead. If anybody, if for any reason, you get some splashback, boom, Coroni Papyrus. Coroni <laughs> Papyrus has visited you. <laughs> Welcome to... Wow, wow. I, I remember at the beginning of this podcast, I said I've never been scared on this show. Maybe not be in. It might not be in the podcast, but I did say that to you guys, right? Yes, yes. That, yeah. This was the first time I was scared. Was by Dom's yeah, intro. You wouldn't want P to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't step inside this haunted house. You may pee yourself. Anyway, anytime you pee, uh, Corody Cor- Vivi can come up there too. If you pee it, while you're peeing, that those seconds your pee holes open, Corody Vivi can get you. Yeah, like a strong, like a strong trout, he can swim upstream. You know who got it? Who? Crazy Frog. Oh, definitely, yeah. Axel F? Axel F himself? Yeah, it's a sick... No, it, the it, Crazy Frog. No, Wait, I, is that his a, name? No, he has. that's one of his songs, Dom. It's I Axel was always confused because Axel F is the name of the guy from Beverly Hills Ninja... Not Ninja. Beverly Hills Beverly, <laughs> Beverly Hills Ninja is a cool movie, though, that I... It's a very oh, yeah, different Axel movie. Foley. Yeah, Axel yeah, Foley. Axel Foley. Mm-hmm. And, and the, the song, song Axel F is sampling... The theme from Beverly Hills. Comedy. No, that's his theme. That's Axel's theme, man. Okay, so Crazy Frog just covered it completely. Crazy Frog got Frogmania and Frogmania to <laughs> two mm-hmm, mm-hmm. similarly. This is important. This they is don't important. talk. They don't like to talk about this. They don't talk they don't about this. You. Yeah, they they are two diseases with the same names pronounced differently. Uh, one oh. turns you from from human to frog, and the other one makes you sing crazy songs. Yeah, it makes you go. You're just like hanging out with your family, and then you go. Bah, 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 bah. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is what I was afraid of. This was what I was afraid of. I just got back to the microphone. I stood up for a second, and I didn't get back soon enough. It is very offensive to do an impression of Crazy Frog. <laughs> <laughs> it is insensitive. Chad, you Chad. just you, word he's right got into a it. condition, man. It makes him do that. We can enjoy it, but you can't do it. <laughs> I thought that's how. That's, that's, I thought that's how he started his invisible motorcycle that he rode. You're his right. Videos. Yeah, that's just how he starts his motorcycle. So I mean, I think that's actually more a utilitarian thing that he's doing. It's not a crazy song he's singing. <laughs> Chat, it's his. It's Chat. his Shazam yes. that he has to do it's to his, start his powers. It's his superpower for his invisible vehicle, uh, and a la Shazam, a la Wonder Woman. He's he's really kind of ripping off DC with this shtick, isn't he? I I, I hope that our listeners who are just like, what the fuck is Crazy Frog? Is oh, are they, googling Crazy. Frog. We played the Crazy Frog game on on continue. It's I don't. It might. It's not going to be out when this is out, but it's coming soon. What, was it a mobile game? Like, for I'm not. What system? I'm not even gonna tell you. You're gonna have to watch it when it ha- when it comes out. I bet it's for the Nokia N gauge and only that. You'll see. Okay. Oh, you'll see. I do. I just want to say that Chad, you do have to donate to Frogmania or Frogmania charities uh, after doing that impression. Dude, I'm already yeah, re-downloading that... the Ring callback tones. It's fine. I'm I'm sending love and support <laughs> You've already to got Axel App. Oh, that's true. It's, that's how he. They, all those uh, payments actually went to those charities. You're right. Yes. Um. Anyway, <laughs> we've got a we've got a book here that we've uh, we've had our Patreon supporters choose mm. for us to read. We're doing yes. an adventure episode. Maybe you know that from the title of this episode. But we are doing. Please don't feed the vampire. Give yourself goosebumps. Fifteen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna you're gonna DM for us. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! And for those who don't know, uh, Dom will be reading it, doing the voices, giving us our choices, and Chad and I will role play as the children of the book. If there's only one child, we will split his brain and be the left side and the right side. Chad, I'll let you pick your side. Oh, you want me right now? Choose a side right now. I choose a side of the light. I choose the side of the light. <laughs> that's probably the that's probably the right side. I'm just gonna. Okay, I'm, Paul, you have to make dark decisions, I and make- you have to convince. Good, good boy, Chad. I will to, make uh, be a part of them. Dark and logical decisions for us. Sounds good. Okay. I love it. All right. All right. And this was cho- and again, this was voted and chosen, voted and chosen Bozen. by yeah, chosen, cho- Vozen. It was Vozen by you, our Patreon supporters on patreon.com. dot Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting our show. It means <laughs> it, it. honestly means a lot to us. Thank it you. It does. Dom, take it away. I look like a nerd, don't I? 
like a complete nerd, you moan to your friend Gabe in the mirror as you see your costume and wince. Halloween is only a few days away. I'm doomed. Oh. You and Gabe have been best friends for two years. Gabe has brown hair, wire-rimmed glasses, and a way of giving advice that sometimes bugs you. You do look pretty stupid, Gabe admits. Where did you get that <laughs> costume anyway? It's called Vampire in a Can, you explain, holding up the cardboard can. I bought it from Mr. Ruderly at Scary Stuff. <laughs> Ruderly? Uh, Mr. Ruderly? Ruderly, okay. Like, like Ruder's Magazine or... Oh, okay. Ah, yeah. uh, yeah. gotcha. There we go. Okay, yeah. I'm there. I don't believe it, Gabe slaps his forehead. You bought a costume from the Eyeball Man? <laughs> what if he took out his glass eye right there in the store and showed it to you wow gabe you're a fucking asshole yeah you're a fuck <laughs> uh, <laughs> he never takes out his glass eye you answer okay okay gabe says but your costume is still ridiculous it's just a set of plastic fangs a cheap little black cape and a fake tattoo of fang marks for your neck isn't there anything else in the can you pick it up and peer inside hey look you cry I have to turn the page. The I just want to say, too. that's fine. I just want to say that uh, this really got me early on because being a dork on Halloween is the worst time to be a dork. Yeah. It's an awkward You're, time. Other kids are allowed huh. to set you ablaze. Yeah. It's, it's time to get beat up. Chad, you might not have had that because you were big and scary. Well, yes. If I can do a 30 second side tangent, I, I did realize there were times where I was in a... I, I was a big boy, but I mm -hmm. didn't realize that my friends who were nerds were being picked on by the other kids. Ah, like, uh, you weren't their nerd champion? Yeah, there was, there was like times where like we'd all go out in like, you know, middle school to trick or treat. And mm -hmm. then like, we're like, hey, we're having a, a, a candy cane bag fight. Throw your pillowcases with candies at each other. Hit them each other with them. I'm like, oh, what a fun game. It wasn't until a couple years later, my friends were like, yeah, that was the bullies beating us up. And I was like, oh, oh, I thought we were having fun. You should have fought them, Chad. I should have fought you them. You liked back. the pain. You were like, hit me with the candy. Well, I would, I would swing back, but I didn't know. Strike we were me. <laughs> hit me right here. Hit me right in the chin with your candy bag. You could withstand the blows of candy while your friends could not. Yeah, I thought it was a fun game. Anyway. What? Gabe asks, look, looking interested. There is something else in the can, you answer. You reach in and pull out a small plastic packet that was stuck to the inside. It looks like a ketchup packet. What is it? <laughs> Gabe moves closer. I think it's fake blood, you tell him. Really? Cool, Gabe says. He picks up the vampire in a can and reads the label. That's weird. It doesn't say anything on the box about fake blood. Then you notice the writing on the packet. In blood red letters, it says, danger, keep away. COVID. COVID. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you Sorry. hand you hit no, that was good. You hand the you hand the packet to Gabe. He reads the label and his eyes grow wide. Are you going to open it? He asks. You gulp. The words on the packet are kind of scary. But you're dying to know what's inside. So are you going to open it? Uh okay, right brain. Um, what do you think? Well, light, light, light brain, light brain and dark brain. That's all we're doing. Okay, yeah. all right, fine, fine, fine. Light brain and dark brain. What does the what does the light brain think? Uh, maybe that it's a gift from a good friend, and we should trust. Yeah, them. I agree. <laughs> maybe we should hit each other with the pen. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it seems like a fun game to play. I my dark mind says yes. Open it. Unleash it upon the world. Okay, we are of one mind on this. Yes. Yeah, you tell Gabe. I'll open it. I don't give a fuck. Give it back. <laughs> Be careful, Gabe warns. You don't want to squirt that gunk all over your cute little cape. Thanks, joke boy, you grumble. <laughs> First, you try to rip the packet open with your fingernails, but the plastic won't tear. Frustrated, you pull the fake fangs out of your mouth. Then you put the packet between your teeth and yank hard. A syrupy liquid shoots out, spilling into your mouth. God. A tiny pit bit dribbles out, leaving a red streak on your chin. Um, yum, you say, <laughs> <laughs> slurping up the liquid. It's so good, you want to drink every drop. Quickly, you squeeze the, squeeze the rest of the packet into your mouth. What is that stuff, Gabe asks, squinting at you. It definitely isn't ketchup, you reply, but it's excellent. I love it. <laughs> this It's gross, Gabe declares, scowling. It looks like blood, real blood. 
blood you cry uh, i was just gonna say you're giving this a, a good 90s vibe right now dom with these voices yeah. it's feeling good. thank you thank you thank you i i just hate okay. like fake syrup shit like all of that kind of stuff i'm getting so like on edge about this entire world. oh you don't like that taste? i know i hate that shit so i mean fake blood is real fake blood is famously very sticky no way that's blood you say with a nervous laugh but your heart starts beating a little faster could it be you remember scraping your hand last week and licking the wound. This stuff tastes the same. Maybe. But right now, you've got something else on your mind. I'm thirsty, you declare, rushing to the kitchen. I've got to get a drink. Okay. Gabe follows you, talking a mile a minute. If you didn't swallow, spit it out, he orders. Gargle with mouthwash or maybe brush with peroxide toothpaste or do both. Water, you groan. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> I need water. <laughs> you stick your mouth under the faucet to gulp from the tap. But as the water hits your tongue, you jerk away. Yuck, you exclaim. That tastes terrible. <gasps> I thought you were thirsty. Do vampires yes. hate water? I mean, I, I guess they can't ingest the food, so that would make sense. Oh, uh, you're right. You're right. Yep. Uh-huh. I thought you were thirsty, Gabe says, eyeing you strangely. I am, you tell him, but not for water, for something else. Oh shit. I'm I'm hungry for I'm hungry for 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 shit. This <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right, chat. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's that, 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 that was just the light brain talking. Yes, the yeah. light brain had a thought. <laughs> I am hungry for shit. It's I, it... uh, I hunger for <laughs> <laughs> okay we're gonna keep reading <laughs> you desperately thirst for that red cranberry juice on the fridge but when you sip some you have to spit it out it tastes lousy i feel weird you moan how come the room got so bright Th the light it's killing my eyes <laughs> before gabe can answer you race to your room at the back of the house you close all the blinds when gabe catches up with you you slam the door and turn off the light you both stand in darkness. Do you want to kiss me? <laughs> you just whisper. <laughs> what? Wait, <laughs> wait. This is a Goosebumps book, right? Yeah, no, no, no. I, I made that up. Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure. Is this a dark Goosebud where the kid hungers for shit and to kiss his friend? <laughs> uh, you both stand in darkness. Maybe you're coming down with the flu, Gabe suggests. Popping some bubble gum into his mouth. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's COVID. Um, <laughs> you hope it's only the flu, but you have a bad feeling. You slowly turn and gaze into the mirror. No, you cry when you see what's staring back. Tom Hanks. <laughs> um, <laughs> you stare into the mirror. Nothing stares back at you. Of course, that's because the room is pitch black. But when you snap on the desk lamp, your worst fear comes true. You have no reflection. You're not there. Gabe peers into the mirror. He s stops chewing his gum. Whoa, he breathes. What happened to you? <laughs> you know what happened. You know why you have no reflection in the mirror. You're a vampire. You've got to help me, Gabe, you groan. Yikes, Gabe cries. What's happening to your teeth? My teeth, you say weakly. You touch your canines. With a sickening shock, you feel them growing, turning into long, pointy fangs. I'm so thirsty, you moan as you pull up Instagram and like every photo of every girl you follow. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, he does that, you do that thing where you accidentally like a photo from two years ago and you're like shit oh, and you're like, oh fuck no this is how thirsty he was he went and started liking the old photos he was like oh, notice me God, uh -huh. monster. <laughs> he's sending a message I'm so thirsty you moan for blood you stare longingly at Gabe's neck keep away from me Gabe cries stumbling backwards you want to you need to but can you? Can you drink your best friend's blood? Oh. If you bite Gabe, turn to page 87. If you don't bite Gabe, turn to page 100. I gotta say that it's so perfect that we decided to be light brain and dark brain for this book where we're an evil supernatural being. Obviously, yes. we're sucking our friend's blood. In my, in my opinion. No, no, obviously, we're not sucking our best friend's blood. Uh, You like Gabe? You like the way Gabe called your 
bl- no. your outfit cute and said See, it was stupid? Here's my argument. You're gonna, Paul. I'm actually kind of with you for a different reason. Okay, is Gabe sucked. Gabe, if we if we're gonna kill Gabe, sure, let's eat Gabe. Uh huh. But I have a feeling if we bite Gabe, Gabe's gonna become a vampire, and Gabe doesn't deserve this power. And Gabe is scary because he's mean yeah. to us. Gabe will be an evil, bad vampire if yeah. we do that. If he's a more powerful, powerful vampire than us, that could be scary. Dark Brain is being swayed right now. I gotta say, mm, I'm just saying. Like, I think we both want to save Gabe's life. Good brain, light brain, but mm-hmm. also let's not turn Gabe into an evil villain. Both selfishly bad brain and that's what I'm thinking is I don't want another more powerful being near me. Let's get an innocent. Let's go kill an innocent. <laughs> so you you don't you don't want to bite Gabe? No, we're I, gonna. I, I just wish we knew if we were gonna fully drain him. You know, I just wish we knew. <clears throat> yeah, you never know with this shit. No, okay. no, I want to take an innocent out. Let's go find somebody. <laughs> you don't want to leave unsightly fang marks on your best friend's neck, do you? On the other hand. What's the point of being one of the undead if you can't drink the blood of a human now and then? And Gabe has plenty of blood to spare. Go on. Take a little bite. Just a nibble. It was one of those RL things. Well, RL in quotations where you made a choice and then they made a choice for you. Yeah, Yeah, fuck us, I guess. Yeah, sure. Fine. Uh, That's classic give yourself goosebumps. Oh, you want to do that? Too bad. We have have to do this way. (laughs) (laughs) You gaze at Gabe's neck as if it were a tasty milkshake. I need some liquid refreshment, you say, (laughs) drooling. Get away from me, he shrieks, taking off. You run after him and corner him in the kitchen. I know what'll stop a vampire, he wheezes. He reaches into the freezer and pulls out a steak. Gabe rams the frozen filet mignon into his chest. Kill him now. Can we kill Kill him? him. I take it back. I want to kill him. Oh, kill him. You need a steak to kill a vampire, you snarl. That's... S-T-A-K-E, dope. You reach for his neck again. Gabe yanks out his bubble gum and jams it into your mouth. Oh. Smart move. By the time you unstick the gum from your fangs, you've come to your senses. Sorry, Gabe, you say. I lost my head. He accepts your apology, but you can see he still doesn't trust you. Not completely. You bury your face in your hands. What am I going to do? I'm a vampire, <laughs> a cruddy, blood-sucking vampire. I think it's crazy that our friend Gabe, who we were going to spare, tried to kill us. I'm pretty pissed off about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't blame him. But I do blame him. I live in. I don't want to die. Don't kill me. I thought we were friends. And I'm gonna say this: RL, or RL in quotes. Did not force us to do that. He just tricked us into thinking he was forcing us to do that. So good on you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Gabe starts pacing around the room. The way I see it, you've got three choices, he begins. Choice number one, go back to where you bought the stupid costume and ask the eyeball man to help. It's his fault you're a vampire, right? He <laughs> sold it to you. Maybe you agree. But what if you can't help? What else? Choice number two, we do some research, Gabe continues. You know. Watch a bunch of vampire movies, read up on ghouls like you, sorry, no offense, at the library, <laughs> stuff like that. Maybe we'll find out how to cure you. That that sounds good, but it might take too long, you reply. What's my third choice? The third choice is the most dangerous, oh. Gabe announces solemnly. Dark What's my third choice, Einstein, you repeat. The third choice is to... Stay in your room and do nothing, Gabe replies. COVID, Hide out and COVID, hope. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Hide out and hope that this vampire yeah, thing dude, wears off. Yeah, dude, self-quarantine. Yeah, self-quarantine your ass. But that's dangerous because I know you interrupt him because what if it doesn't wear off? What if I can't stop myself from biting someone? So what are you going to do, Gabe asks quietly. There's a fourth choice, you tell him. Huh? What? A fourth choice? He asks nervously. <laughs> Maybe being a vampire is way cool, you grin evilly. Maybe I should just go around biting people. (laughs) (laughs) I love that through the choices, you've come back around to killing people. To just being a vampire. You didn't like any of the ideas. You see a flicker of fear in Gabe's eyes, and you love it. Make a choice. Choice one, go back to the eyeball man. Choice two, you do research about vampires. That was a terrible idea. Wait. Choice choice <laughs> okay. three, you hide out in your room and hope the vampire thing wears off. COVID quarantine. 
Choice four. You like being a vampire. Turn to page 80. Whoa, this is it four. actually offering wow. four choices here? Four choices. I love that. Go back this. to the cool. eyeball man, do research about vampires, hide out in your room and hope it wears off, or bite somebody. Chad, I'll let you lead off with this one. Well, my question is, what what do we think Eyeball Man will do? That he'll know where the blood came from? Like he'll Yeah, I mean he was store yeah. he bought it for his store, so he obviously bought but he bought it off of a dark vendor, an evil vendor at some point, right? He, he's probably our best lead as much as I, I think the actual strategic choice is stay inside and wait this out, let the transformation finish, and then go out and start to feast on people once your vampire powers are manifested. And if Dark Brain can chime in we can shake him <laughs> down and eat his blood. Yeah, I say you go back to the eyeball man and fucking kill him. <laughs> let's at the very least, let's see if he can uh, do that eyeball trick where he takes his eyeball out. Uh, so, are you guys gonna sw- self quarantine then? No, no, we're gonna we're we're going to eyeball man. We're gonna shake his ass down. All right, we're going to eyeball man. I say we go back to Mister Ruderly. You tell Gabe maybe he knows what was in that packet of. Don't say it. Gabe interrupts. <laughs> let's just go. <laughs> you nod and stuff the costume back into the vampire in a can. You head for the door. Gabe pulls it open. A beam of daylight streams in. Hold it! You scream. <laughs> you cringe, shielding your eyes from the light. You double over in burning pain. In a few seconds, you'll be a crispy French fry. Close the door, quick! You shout at Gabe. <laughs> the light is killing me! <laughs> Gabe slams the, shut the door and rushes over to to you. You fan your face. It feels as if you got a mega sunburn. Finally, Mm -hmm. the pain goes away. What happened? Gabe asks. The light, you answer. Haven't you ever seen a Dragula movie? Vampires (laughs) can't go outside in daylight. Not even with sunblock on, Gabe jokes. Hey, wise guy. You want to be my lunchtime beverage? You snap. Sorry, Mm -hmm. murmurs Gabe. So now what? Now we wait. Um, that sunscreen thing is in Blade, I believe, and it's it's been proven to work in Blade. That if I think it works in Blade. It works. Bl- Blade is the most scientifically accurate movie about vampires, for sure. Yeah, scientists love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it's October, so it gets dark early. You and Gabe hike to scary stuff, Mister Ruderly's store. A block from the store, Gabe grabs your arm. Look, he shouts, "It's the Eyeball Man! He's locking the door!" Panting, you run the last block to Scary Stuff. You get there just in time. As that's Mr. the name Ruby of the is... store? Scary, scary Stuff? Scary Stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's... I like it. That's that's nice. A real first draft. Yeah. You get there as Mr. Ruderly is turning away to leave. His balding head shines in the moonlight. Excuse me, Mr. I... I mean, Mr. Ruderly, you call? He turns and glares at you. Yes, he growls. Uh, I bought this... C- costume you stammer showing the, him the vampire in a can and um i accidentally opened the packet inside and well uh i drank the stuff in it mr ruderly points to the label on the side of the can see this he says there's a number to call if you have a problem now i must be going good night and good luck he adds with a mysterious smirk as mr ruderly walks away you and gabe huddle under a street light you read the message fuck him up on fucking eat him. fucking label. eat his ass <laughs> Uh, 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 bite his Achilles tendon. Don't let him leave. Um, it says, for problems with this costume, call 555 Vampire. Calls uh. accepted after dark only. Okay. All right. Makes sense. I guess that is, I guess that is seven numbers. Okay. Wait, no. That doesn't make sense. 555 Vampire, no. It was post area code. They added the area code in. No, the 555 is the, I always thought that the movie rule was you had to do 555 sure, for, um, for the first one. The first for the, three, so for it's the first not three. like you can't just call up Jesse's girl anymore. Sure. But still, still. It's, I'm going to say it's the area code, because it also doesn't exist, I don't think. Is there a 555 area code? Let's find out. <laughs> Either way, that's a bad number, RL. You should feel bad. There is a 555 area code. Des Moines. Yeah, it's for area 51. Don't call it. Um, <laughs> Gabe whistles. Calls accepted after dark only. That's weird. Are you going to Are you going to phone? Uh, staring at Gabe's neck, you th- your thirst returns. The thirst for you think. Don't think of blood. Too late. You just thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> what choice do I have? You moan and you hurry to a payphone on the corner. You pick up the receiver and punch in the number. It rings thirteen times before a man's voice answers. Thank you for calling Vampire in a Can, he says. How can I help you? 
You quickly explain your problem. Yes, the man <laughs> says in a slithery tone. You must come to 999 Sanguine <laughs> Road. Shut we'll be up. here till midnight. Shut up. They're wearing it on their sleeve, huh? <laughs> then he hangs up. San- also- Sanguine Road, Gabe exclaims when you tell him the address. I know that word. Sanguine means bloody. Stay away from there. I'm telling you, don't go. Why Why put the clue in if they had characters immediately? Okay. Okay. <laughs> If you could take Gabe's advice, turn to page 70. If you ignore Gabe, turn to page 91. I don't trust that asshole for a second. If, if, yeah. Yeah. He, discuss. He, you two need to discuss. He's jealous of our vampire powers. Um, yeah. He's trying to uh, lead us. He's trying to, you know what he's trying to do? He's trying to keep us wandering around outside all day till the sun comes up. And then he's going to zap our ass with the wicked star. God damn it. You're right. Yeah. Also, like, listen. No one's going to call out that 999 is just, for some reason, 666 upside down. (laughs) Oh! Well, he put that in there as a little demonic Easter egg for us. A little demonic Easter egg. I think we go and talk to the the snake man on the other line and either join their vampire coven or, I don't know, at least learn our powers. Yeah, let's get, let's find a mentor. Okay. (laughs) All right. If you were going to go, we're ignoring Gabe and we're going. Yeah, we're ignoring Gabe. Gabe tried to kill us. I don't trust Gabe for a second. You ignore Gabe. <laughs> you ignore Gabe. We did, guys. Sorry, I just want to bring this up. Sorry to interrupt you, Tom. No, no, I hadn't no. really thought about how we just quickly moved past the murder attempt. He it tried to kill us. Like, he was just too dumb to do it. That's the problem. It, it was just like, hey, yeah, that, Well, off. that's the other thing. That's the other thing. Gabe is so stupid. Yeah. Oh, that. Yeah, true. Good point. I think we make Gabe a vampire familiar when we're done. Yes, definitely. That's yes. a good idea. Yes. Yeah. Um, you ignore Gabe's warning. I have to go, you tell him as you start walking. You don't understand. I don't want to be a vampire. Okay, Gabe answers, then I'm coming with you. An hour later, you're in a deserted part of town. An old brick factory stands at 999 Sanguine Road. The whole building is dark. On the front door is a sign reading, Office, ring bell. Whoa, Gabe cries, check out the bats. Overhead, dozens of bats circle wildly. They fly into a high, open window in at the back of the factory. You feel drawn to them. Strange. The only other bat you've ever been attached to was your old Louisville slugger. Yuck. Okay. <laughs> that was me <laughs> responding to that joke. Oh, yeah. I, I thought that was like the uh, the narrator thinking poorly of his past. No, I was, that was me. Um, <laughs> We should follow the bats, you say. Let's check out if we can get in around the back. No, gay bags. Let's just ring the front bell. Do you follow the bats or do you go in the front door? Oh, man. What do you think, light brain? <laughs> what time of night is it? It's night, right? It's like dark and no one yeah, should be Yeah, it's before home. midnight because midnight is when they close. So I'm trying mm. to go to the metagame. Snake voice said, come on over, right? Yeah, he wants us to come right in. Yeah, he said. Oh, he said come. Right, he said come right in on the phone. Did he say specifically that? I don't know right if in. he said come right in, but he said come on over. I don't think he said that. And there is a sign that says ring the bell. So hmm. I, I kind of want to like. Feels like a trap. It's weird. I kind of want to follow the bats because I know those are probably some vampire bros out for like a feeding, and you know we could like follow them and learn. But mm-hmm. we did come here to go to this building, and it it feels strange to change. I'll, I'll defer to the dark brain. Follow the bats. <laughs> we'll follow the bats, you snap. With a shudder, you realize you'd rather hang out with bats than with Gabe. <laughs> Just something you thought about. Um, I mean, I'd rather hang out with those bats. Um, come on, you command, hurrying to the back of the factory. You seem to know where you're going, Gabe says, trying to keep up with you. Somehow, you do know. You're following some kind of inner radar, like a bat. And your radar tells you there's a door in the back of this place. We're getting closer to the bats, you tell Gabe. Gabe puffs. You act like you want to party with those bats or something. (laughs) Don't you want to be normal? Normal? (laughs) What's normal? You start <laughs> nice. <fast. laughs> okay, nice, dude. Dumb line delivery that, of the book. Is that real? Is that a real? <laughs> that one? was in there. I just I put a little acting. That little la- cheddar you put on that was nice. Yeah, you turned that into a "We live in a society" for the night. <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness! Uh, as you round the corner of the factory, you see a huge garage door. You both try to slide the door open, but it's locked. 
forget it, Gabe orders. Let's use the front door like regular human beings. You start to follow your friend. But all of a sudden, you feel a new sensation. You're changing again from deep inside. A moment later, you have the strongest urge to fold your arms across your chest like a bat. Something tells you that if you do, you'll be able to fly. Use the front door like human beings, you repeat Gabe's words. But what if I'm not human <laughs> Gabe <laughs> grabs your arm <laughs> it's not it's, he says it you're saying it and perfectly like it's an innuendo but it's not an innuendo stop I feel like you read this before but I know you didn't and I it's it's incredible <laughs> thanks thank you Gabe grabs your arm you're my best fiend or er, friend <laughs> I know you're human he insists come on if you go with Gabe turn to page 12 if you try to become a bat, turn to page one twenty. <laughs> I I mean the choice is obvious, right, Dark Brain? Oh yeah, you. I mean I led us down this path. I'm gonna give you a chance to turn it around if you want to, but I, no, we're going, I mean, baby. Gabe is trying to keep us from our destiny, and being an animal feels like the most beautiful light side thing in the world. So let's yeah, be a bat. They- yeah, mm. Gabe does not mm. want to be left behind, but let's leave his ass behind. Yeah, yeah. It's time to party with some bats. Let's get stuck in his hair. <laughs> no, you tell Gabe, <laughs> pulling away. I'm going to follow the bats. You close your eyes and fold your, fold your arms across your chest. Gabe cries, what are you doing? You don't answer. <laughs> you just concentrate hard on the bats and on the tingling inside of you. Suddenly, your whole body feels as, as if it's being crushed, crunched. The whole world goes dark. You open your eyes, but nothing changes. I can't see, you try to scream, but all that comes out is a high-pitched screeching sound. (gasps) Then you open your wings and lift off the ground. You're flying. We are young! (laughs) You soar in a spiral. (laughs) Up, up, up! As you circle around, high above Gabe's head, reality hits you. You turned yourself into a bat. I'm blind as a bat, too, you think, as you soar toward the factory window. That's where the other bats went in. You can't see the window very well. You're not completely blind, but your eyesight is poor. Your radar, though, tells you where the opening is. You follow your sense of smell. It leads you into a room of screeching bats. They all flap their wings in and circle each other. Then, one by one, they transform themselves into human form. Oh, into vampires. All yeah. except you. Cold fear seeps into your little bat body as you realize, I don't know how to change back. If we stay, if we stay a bat for more than two hours, we'll be trapped. Would perma bat? Is that oh, mm-hmm. I, okay? I was gonna say anamorphs or blade. I didn't know where that fact was coming from. <laughs> that might also be in blade. There's not enough. There's not enough bats in blade. I'll be honest. Yeah, you're right. Well, mm. bats aren't as cool to kill with swords, I guess. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Be like taking dice out of the air? That's oh. true. Yeah, like th- slicing and dicing through the air. That is cool. You're uh. right. You want to change back into a kid, but you don't have a clue how. So you fly out back out the window, searching for Gabe. Your radar spots him. You dart down and land gently on his shoulder. Gabe twists around and stares into your tiny bat face. Yuck, he says. You're really ugly. Can't you change back? You sit there, screeching. Finally, Gabe nods under, in understanding. I guess I'll have to take you home and keep you as a pet. Boy, my mom is no. going to freak. No! Maybe I can what? figure out a cure someday. Fuck. Unfortunately, Gabe never figures it out. He does, however, grow up to become a major league baseball player. As a private I... joke, he lets you live in the clubhouse as no! the unofficial <laughs> bat boy. No! This is... Oh, it's a pun, I'm, I'm sorry. Too. We just uh... let ourselves get cat- caught? Like, what the... We got caught, we lost all our powers, and we got fucking punned out at the end. What the fuck? Yeah. yeah oh. Yeah. Oh, my God. What, I'm so upset. What was so the choice upset. that we made that doomed us there to being... To turn into a bat, I guess? Uh, I guess you, 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 like, you decided to turn into a bat. Like, who wouldn't want to turn into a bat? <laughs> um, I'm going to try to get I, back got, to where we were. We got to yeah, roll back. Yeah, can you rewind this yeah, back to, I guess, Paul? I would say, like, when we chose to... I guess the Follow door. the bats and we ring the door? Yeah, I think we go in the door instead. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't believe that was how that turned out. Turning into a bat led us to the worst. And we didn't even get a choice. 
I right know, become- and you went into the room with all of the bats, and they turned into vampires, and you didn't. So you didn't even get to that part. Ugh. Um, do you guys? Ugh. Here's my question: Do you yeah. guys want to make you? You guys want to make your choice at the four choices again, where you you don't go to the eyeball man, mm. or do you want to go to the eyeball man and go back to nine 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 Sandgren Road? I, you know, the four choices is nice. It's a nice. That's a it's a lot of freedom there. <clears throat> Sure. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, the two of those are definitely going to be immediate dead ends. I'm just going to take a guess. Okay, well, let's do it. But let's just do, let's it. do it. Okay. So, what do you want to do? You want to go to the eye? You can still go to the eyeball man if you'd like to go back to Sanguine Road or whatever. But... No, 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 no. Let's go. Okay. So your, your choices are: <laughs> do research about vampires. Yeah. That's uh, boring. Hide out in your room and self quarantine under the coronavirus. Oh, Hope you so... bought some canned goods. Uh-huh. And uh, that's another thing. While we're talking about it, guys, get some canned goods. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> choice four, you like being a vampire. Um, oh, yeah, we like being a vampire. Wait, Let's that's, lean into it. The choice it. is called, we like being a vampire? That's what the choice is called. Choice four is, you like being a vampire. Yeah, let's fucking lean into it. Sure, that seems like almost too broad, but let's do it. I don't like that look on your face, Gabe says, backing away from you. What are you going to do? You give Gabe a sly smile. I'm just going to have a little fun as a vampire. Are you nuts, Gabe sputters? You can't do that. You can't go around biting people and drinking their blood. Don't worry, you tell Gabe. I won't bite you. But how about people we hate, like Robbie Morgan or Mrs. Winesap? (laughs) Mrs. Winesap lives down the block. She kept your frisbee once when it landed in her flower garden. Gabe laughs a sort of sick, weak laugh. That old bat, he says. She is pretty mean, but... Leave it to me, you tell Gabe. But right now, I've got to get some sleep. You glance around your room for a comfortable place to sleep. You finally spot one and climb into position, hanging upside down from a chin-up bar in your doorway with your arms folded across your chest like a bat. Great. Like a Batman. All right, so we're getting closer to our dream. We're getting a little closer. Yeah, a Mm -hmm. little closer. When, When you wake up a couple hours later, the sun has set. A shiver of excitement runs down your spine. You climb out of your bedroom window and slip into the night. This will be a blast, you think. Vampires rule. Yeah, you hell slink, yeah. You, you <laughs> slink. We didn't get. You Whoa. Sl- nice. You slink through the neighborhood. Uh, rats and mice meekly approach you. You are their master. Cool, you whisper to yourself. <laughs> I'm the king of the rodents. <laughs> <laughs> who will be your first victim oh my gosh this is so this is like my dream is that i go out at night and rats and mice come up to me and they're like <laughs> yes master <laughs> <laughs> hello best friend <laughs> what would you like me to do would you like me to find food <laughs> <laughs> i can find food i can smell food but i, I won't. can burrow inside your home <laughs> of your enemy um <laughs> You reach a nasty old Miss Winesap's, Mrs. Winesap's house. You ring her doorbell. The door opens. Who's bothering me at dinner time? She demands crossly. You open your mouth wide. Time for revenge. Then the smell hits you. Mrs. Winesap has been eating garlic bread. Garlic! You, The downfall of all vampires. Ugh. The reek makes you dizzy. If you're here to get your silly frisbee back... You can forget about it. Mrs. Winesap snaps. She slams the door on your face. You sit there on her doorstep, heaving. What? <laughs> uh, the Italians, man. They figured it out. They figured mm-hmm. out how to get rid of vampires. <laughs> uh, I'm such a loser vampire, you think. Uh, you stumble ac- from Mrs. Winesap's house and walk aimlessly in the daze. When you look up, you find you've entered a cemetery. You guys have gone full goth. Yeah, and we naturally yeah. we naturally just gravitated towards the cemetery, which is cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think like I think like Tears for Fears is just playing the whole time. In the yeah, or some like mm. Cure maybe. Yeah, what's that? What's that guy? Bauhaus. Bauhaus. Yeah, maybe a little Bauhaus. Bella Lugosi's dead. <laughs> um, and you're standing next to an open grave. You peer in. The grave is empty. Crack. You hear a sound behind you. Something tells you to get out of there fast, but the empty grave pulls you to it. Graves, they seem so cozy, so <laughs> comforting, so homey. What? The rats, footsteps come dig closer. me a grave. <laughs> yes, rats, dig me one of these. Uh, the footsteps come closer. Make a choice before it's too late, quick. 
If you what? hide in an open grave, turn to page 61. If you stay and face whatever is coming, uh, go to page 29. Uh, Sorry, I, Dom, what was the description of who's coming? It's just something. It's just something. It's a, a loud snap. I, it's I, you, 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 something inside you tells you to get away. That's that's the only thing you... Yeah, I, I, I mean... That's the only thing you know. Paul, what do you think? I'm ready to fight. Yeah, I feel like laying in a grave, like we'll just stay there all night and then the sun comes up and we die. Yeah. Like, I, I, it's yeah. not a good plan. I want some confrontation right now. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Slowly, you turn to see who's behind you. Good evening, a dark shadowy figure whispers. I see you found my home away from home. The shadowy figure steps forward. A beam of moonlight strikes his face, then his fangs, then the eyeglass sitting on his palm. (gasps) Mr. Ruderly, you cry. That's why he was a dick to us earlier. In that other timeline. In that other, other timeline, timeline that doesn't he was exist now. To head here, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. Yes, Mister Ruderly hisses. Mister Ruderly, you gasp. You're you're a vampire. I'm glad we see eye to eye Shut on that. Up. Shut he up! Shut up! It doesn't even make sense. Yeah, was that supposed putting... to be a pun or like a joke? <laughs> <laughs> he, he he snickers, putting his eyeglass back in. Oh, it's about so himself. Well, so so he took his eyeglass out as he went to like walk around the graveyard. I think he just plays catch with it as he walks, right? Like he just kind of like throws it up in the air and uh, makes yeah, sense. it's like a fidget box for him. Yeah, the salesman gave me quite a discount on those vampire in a can costumes. He adds with a soft chuckle. He said it was because we're blood brothers. Ha ha ha. What a yuckmeister, you mutter sarcastically. Well, I suppose we should be talking in a more serious vein, Ruderly says. He cra- Can we he kill cackles. him? Mm. Like, immediately? Just, like, behead him, Paul? Rats! Murder him! <laughs> Get him. He swoops down on you suddenly, wrapping you in his cape. He lifts you off the ground. Then he jumps into the deep, wet grave. This is no joke. What? Like okay. He just abducted okay. you? Okay. Hell. You scream as you and the eyeball man fall into the open grave. You land with a thud. Hush, Mr. Ruderly commands. Mm. Do you want to wake the dead? He laughs hard at his own dumb joke. Then he becomes serious. Not long ago, I was ill, close to death. But the (laughs) vampires came offering to make me a blood brother. To give me eternal life. In return for selling vampire in a can uh. let me go you cry pushing away from him quiet mr ruderly says i'm trying to help you i'll show you all the tricks of our trade and i ask only one thing in return what is it you ask fearfully you know the answer isn't going to be pleasant oh okay okay okay, I, okay, this, okay. Is, this is so this is bizarre. tense this is tense i'm very nervous mr ruderly bears his fangs i just want one thing from you he breathes blood you, what? your eyes. Why does he want vampire blood? No, no, Mister Ruderly says quickly. Not your blood. You're uh, one of us. But uh, I'm running out of humans who trust me. Yes, humans. Yes. We're gonna sacrifice I can get Gabe. Close to. <laughs> We're gonna sacrifice Gabe. Great. Humans, I can get close to. You, on the other hand, have many young human friends. My friends, you whisper, horrified. Mister Ruderly nods. Yes. Or your enemies. I don't care. <laughs> Just get me into their homes at night. <laughs> you want me to betray my friends? You asked, outraged. In return, I'll teach you everything you need to know about vampiring, Mr. Ruder. Our mentor. Offers. We're going to get our mentor. Hell, sure. this rocks. This because otherwise, you're bound to make mistakes. You're so young. Mistakes? What mistakes? If you want to hear more of his offer, turn to page 31. If you refuse to listen and you run away, turn to page 52. I mean, you know what I want here, Chad. I, I also, Lightbrain would like to live and not die because I think we know, right, when vampires die, they go to, like, the worst hell. Yeah, right? they go to, they go to, they like, go to yeah. double hell, yeah. Real bad hell. So let's stay alive and learn from uh, Mr. Reuters. Let's do it. Yeah, what, it, what real bad hell is hell with no lights on. So it's just dark and just uh, there's just torture all around you and you're just being tortured and you don't even know. Oh, oh man, it's, I hope it's it's just the the gnarliest just like uh you got this thing in your ear and you can't get it out. Oh god. 
Awful, awful. What do you mean I'll make mistakes, you demand? Oh, you know, Rudely shrugs. You will get careless about who you bite and when. Someone will see you, and pretty soon the whole town will be hunting you down. The next thing you know, they'll be trying to drive a stake through your heart. Being undead is no picnic, believe me. Whoa, you think? He is right. There's a lot of stuff you don't know about being a vampire. Maybe having a teacher isn't a bad idea, you say. And all you have to do is find me young victims. Rudely holds out his hand. So, do we have a deal? Do you guys agree we, to his terms? Or oh, or yeah. We, without a doubt. We've been yes. on board for several pages now. Like, let's look. Let's I know. They're, this, this one is constantly having you make the same kind of decisions, I feel. Okay, you agree. You shake Rudely's hand. I'll do it. He rubs his hands together. Good. Let's go. Holding you, Ruder Lee spreads his cape like bat wings. As if by magic, the two of you float straight out of the grave. You land among the cemetery's gravestones. Wow, you gush amazed. Can you teach me that trick? Later, Ruder Lee <laughs> answers. Now lead me to your young friends. I'm quite thirsty. Who will it be? That's easy. Robbie Morgan. Robbie's three years older than you, and he lives what? on your block. He's always grabbing your bike. He calls you rat face in front of your friends. <laughs> I know just the guy, you tell Mr. Ruderly. Excellent. Mr. Ruderly declares, lead the way. He sound, Robbie sounds way cooler than Gabe. I would have given yeah, Gabe up. Are, we really aren't even given an option to kill Gabe. Mm, yeah, that, I guess that's, not. That's, oh my God, sure, fine. This is Robbie. written by written by someone who does not understand nerdy kids. Slinking through your neighborhood. <laughs> you glance nervously at the cars that pass by. You feel paranoid. Can people tell you're vampires? Don't act so suspiciously, Mr. Ruderly advise, advises you. That's my first tip. See, I told you you needed my help. Don't act suspiciously, you think? Well, duh. And never smile at anyone unless you plan to bite them, he goes on. People feel uneasy when they f see the fangs. Oh, brother, you ro roll your eyes. More hot news. A minute later, you arrive at Robbie Morgan's house. This is it, you tell Mr. Ruderly. What should I do? Nothing, he answers. He glances at the house, then the garage. Lights on in the house, but no cars in the driveway. Perfect. His parents must not be home. Mr. Ruderly goes up to the door and rings the bell. The door opens and Gabe steps out. Before he can warn him, Ruderly grabs Gabe by the shoulders and bites his neck. Yes. So Gabe was there? Wait. Uh, <laughs> wait, it was Gabe? Don't, don't bite him. Wait. That's my best friend, you shout. Wait a second. I didn't even think about it. Wait, it was Gabe? Gabe answered the door. Yes, it worked. Wait. <laughs> it all worked wait. out on page wait. 69, wait. nonetheless. Did the, uh, did the author forget the name? <laughs> like, what happened? I think Gabe is just over there for some reason. Don't sure. bite him. That's my best friend, you shout. But it's too late. Mr. Ruderly's fangs are already piercing Gabe's neck. You hear a horrible slurping sound. Gabe struggles and kicks like a madman. Stop, you scream, kicking Mr. Ruderly in the shins. Stop, no, don't. Nah, that's, Finally, that he drops Gabe onto the doorstep like an empty can of soda. <laughs> I love that. That's a really good description of yeah. just a dead child corpse. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's good. Dead, dead child corpse. <laughs> <laughs> you killed my best friend, you screamed Mr. Ruderly. He's not dead, Mr. Ruderly answers calmly. He's just changing into one of us. Oh, no, it's the no, worst ending. No. What's happening? A voice calls from inside the house. You glance up and see Robbie at the front door. Mr. Ruderly grabs Robbie and drains his blood. Then he drops Robbie on the doorstep beside Gabe. <laughs> ah, Ruderly sighs. Well, I'm off. I think I'll walk. <laughs> I always have trouble flying after a heavy meal. He waves. See ya, kid. You gaze into Gabe's eyes and watch his last flicker of humanity fading. What are you oh, doing at Robbie's house, you ask? I came to warn him, Gabe answers, about you. <laughs> Just then, a car pulls into the driveway. Oh, no. Robbie's parents are home. <laughs> Uh, if you think you can talk your way out of this turn to page 108 if you'd no! rather not try turn to page 23 yeah there's no way you're talking your way out of this i i think we should bite his parents now yeah i sure so wait well I, I don't think you get that choice but one of these one of these choices mm -hmm. maybe. yeah i'm just trying to track right, we can like, run. so we can so run robbie has been eaten mm -hmm. gabe has been bitten yeah they're both turning i think yeah robbie's also gonna be a vampire 
Which is again not vampire unless we're taking over the world. We shouldn't be making so many vampires, Paul. But right, we need to have we need to have a lot of underlings if we're going to take over the world. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's That's not true. try to make an excuse. Let's just let the parents see it and then bite them. So you want to okay, you want to talk it. to the parents? Well, this option says like don't try, right? Like wasn't that what? what how did you yeah, either it? either talk to the parents or or do not try. If it says oh, if you'd rather oh, not try. Oh, okay. Yes. Sorry. Let's then we don't we're not saying something, right? Yeah, yeah, I think we want to just stand there all creepy over their dead son's body. Okay, yeah, let's okay. let's just yeah, lord over him. The minute you see Robbie's parents in the driveway, you panic and run. Down the steps, across the front lawn, into the street. You run all the way to the park at the end of the street. Then you hide in the bushes. Ree, 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 ree. Uh, <laughs> a, police, a police siren pierces uh, the stillness of the night. Uh-oh, that's right. You forgot. Robbie Morgan's dad is a police officer. Shut up. <laughs> then you hear Mr. Morgan's voice mm-hmm. on the police loudspeaker. He's calling your name. You've been recognized. Oh, no. Fucking cops are out. We're going to get sure. arrested? Take a photograph of us. Oh, you can't because we're a vampire. You dart out of the bushes and <laughs> dash off into the night. You don't think about where you're going. All you know is that you've got to get away. Away from the horror of seeing your best friend Brit- bitten turned into a vampire. You're smart, so you manage to sneak through the bushes and back alleys and escape Mr. Morgan. Pretty soon, police sirens fade away. You make your way to a town where no one knows you. You get a job at a diner, working a night shift, of course. Wait, it's what? <laughs> Wait, a few, hold on. <laughs> a few years later, you meet and fall in love with a customer who also turns out to be a vampire. You're making Shut this up. up. You you're, marry. You're, yeah, you're, you're, this is real. This is real. You, you know. You, you marry and have lots of little immortal vampires. That's not you, how any works <laughs> and you live happily ever after and after and after and after yeah. holy shit why did we get like, a job we're a powerful vampire <laughs> <laughs> you guys you guys did zero vampire stuff <laughs> we we settled down and made vampire kids like it, it like it off in order to do any of that you have to drain blood along the way yes. and that's never brought up and that, you had to make you had to make the person drink your blood, right? Isn't that the vampire lore? I think so. Of like marrying a vampire is that they have to drink your blood? I would think so. Like, that was a roller coaster. Holy fucking shit. Yeah, that, that last one there is fucking trip. Over the course of like what, <laughs> oh two pages? God. We we killed a kid. We killed. No, a we didn't kids. kill anyone. We let. Well, we, we, well, we were an accomplice in a murder. <laughs> yeah. So we wanted to try. We wanted to kill the the kid. We accidentally sent him to the wrong kid's house. The right kid was there. Then we killed. <laughs> he ki- We were the accomplice to the murder of two kids. The right kid and the wrong kid. But the other kid, fine. <laughs> but Why did we get a job? <laughs> But we ran away and got a job. <laughs> you just... got a job at a diner. <laughs> I like that having the 12 no experience. Year, the twelve year old boy was like, "I need to get a job, obviously." <laughs> and you I fell in put love. My money in a long term invest investment in IRA based on the S and P five hundred, <laughs> and just and just let this accumulate wealth and power over time. I have you all f- the time in the world, so I can just let it accumulate nonstop. I'll be rich and eventually. That is the you way to do freaking, it. You freaking fell in love, and you know what's crazy about falling in love, Dom is what. We're a vampire turned at 12, so we stayed as a 12-year-old boy. Oh, no. Wow. How tragic. <laughs> how, how gross. <laughs> that means that means when we were working at the diner bar, we were like a Frankie Muniz motherfucker. Yes. We just looked young. And yes. then like, a girl <laughs> fell in love with us despite being 12 and had mm-hmm. children with us despite being 12. She wow. saw past Wow, our that looks. is fucking disgusting. And I need to hear other endings to this will you guys look it up and read them that's usually how this works i usually don't read the i'm pulling up the wiki because like the cover set the cover don't feed the vampire is a vampire poodle on the cover we never encountered a dog no but okay. that was probably in the card somewhere else right, uh, here we go. according to the goosebumps wiki thank you so much goosebumps wiki for doing all the research for us yes uh there's a couple different options there's there's different st- there's more than two stories in this uh, yeah, story there's, there's... A is you decide to open the packet, but since it's pretty difficult to undo, use your teeth. That's the one we went on. Story B, mm-hmm. if we keep the packet closed, oh, after here it is. you and Gabe pass it to each other scared, it ends up falling on the floor. 
Just then, your pet poodle, Fifi, opens up the yep. packet herself and turns into a vampire dog. She manages to escape from the house and it's up to you to return her both home to her senses before she turns your neighborhood into a bloody nightmare. Kind of fun. Uh, That's fun. That's how We missed out on that one, for sure. And then apparently there's a side story in A where Gabe will give you several options to choose from to find a cure. However, you form him there is a fourth option, accepting your transformation and enjoy being a vampire. The side story can be reached from choosing that option and only has one good ending. It should be noted that this ending doesn't revolve around returning to your normal everyday life. So that's what we found. We found the yep. one good ending of enjoying being a vampire. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Our, our ne- everyday normal life of being a pancake jockey at a diner as a 12-year-old. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the good one. Um, uh, I'm looking across some bad endings. Uh, another vampire named Carrie attacks her father and drains his blood. She glides away as, into the ground. As you slide into the ground, weak and lifeless, you are declared legally dead. Your family has you cremated. And then your fangs are given to the Undertaker's son as a memento? <laughs> what the hell? But, like, your dad also died, I would assume, like based on that description. Wow, this uh, one's terrifying sounding. You try to escape a bunch of vampire dogs by hiding in a garage, but you're not fast enough. The dogs attack you and apparently kill you. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'm glad I'm glad I picked exactly the RL trap of when you're in a cemetery, someone's pursuing you. If you decide to hide inside an open grave, someone fills the hole in with dirt and you're buried alive. Hmm. Sure, fine. This one has yeah. definitely some of the craziest endings. Mr. Ruderly... Uh, bites you and or drains you of your blood and leaves you for dead in the open grave when you refuse to work for him. Wow. Is that just it? He just leaves you for dead? He just kills you. Oh, man, your I... mother kills you in one of them? Your mother opens the blinds in the room you're, and you're instantly killed by exposure to sunlight. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mr. Weninger, say, whoever that is, saves mm-hmm. you from the mm-hmm. vampire animals and reveals his plans of selling them to the circus for money. Oh. You are then bidden by a vampire mosquito. Mm. Okay. Classic. Okay. All sure. right, there's two. We really got to read the two ambiguous endings. I'll read the Please. first one, Chad. You sure. read the second. Please. You escape, you escape the factory, which, okay. Probably the blood factory. Probably the blood factory. No, the blood fa- Fucking good job, Chad. There Thank you me. find a surprise birthday party in your honor since you love vampires. The whole vampire situation was a prank for your birthday. Then you realize that your parents and Gabe are, are really vampires and your mother offers you to you blood to drink, thus implying that you were one also. So that's the uh what was okay. the, the the one where so they So it's not like, even the it's not even the uh you they turned you into a vampire there. It's just you were already a vampire. You always you always were a vampire. That's like the one ghost. What's the camp that we read? I don't know. Camp Run for Your Life or something. Oh, shit. yeah, yeah. That's the camp, the ghost camp or whatever. Ghost Beach, yeah. right? Um, one of them. Based on the wording to reverse vampirism, you and Gabe decide it says not to drink the garlic spray, which is mm-hmm. makes really good sense. You shouldn't drink garlic spray. You try to keep yep. from eating for four hours and a day, is a quote, but you can't resist biting each other. So you complete your transformation into vampires and decide to pay a visit to the blood bank. Yeah, what the hell even is that? Okay. <laughs> you and Gabe turn back to humans by drinking the garlic spray. So apparently you can drink garlic spray and turn into a human again. I, I guess that's in the lore, but I feel like that could also just as likely have killed you. We got uh, the best ending that second We got the time. best Holy one, crap. yeah, because the other good endings are your father, a dentist, fits you with braces that make it impossible for you to bite anyone. You discover that you can live off the cow blood in raw steak as well as decide to accept being a vampire and never have the braces removed. Oh, that's like then being decide, a... Yeah, and you start to pretend to be a human for Halloween. That's not a good ending. You're trapped. You're like that's... in a muzzle. Oh, that one, you become a vegetarian vampire, sort of. Hmm. Yeah, I, I just don't like the fact that you have like a, a, a man in the iron mask brace like placed over your head. That sounds that's kind of a, a trap. Uh, the other good one, if you're curious, is Fifi and the vampire dogs change back to normal. Gabe tells you that he gave them, quote, dog in a can, Magical mm. biscuits that work like the vampire blood and turn anyone that eats them into a dog. That is That's the dumbest stupid. thing I've ever That's read. That's fucking stupid. I hate that. You ask him for one of the biscuits so you can become a dog for Halloween, although it's not explained how you intend to change back to a human after that. <laughs> nice. Cool. 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 I, we definitely picked the best one. Uh, do- that was an amazing story. Hey, I well, I wrote it, so thank you. <laughs> Dom. 
you really nailed it with the read on that one. I gotta say. Thanks. Thanks. You killed it. I had a great time. Everything worked out, and uh, I'm glad coronavirus is over. I'm glad that whole crazy thing's done. <laughs> <laughs> see you. Uh, see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, real quick. Things to check out. Guys, hey. Oh, well, I think one of the most important things that people can check out is our new merch store. Yeah! Bow, bow, bow. Yes. Check it out. What's the website, Chad? Uh, if you want to check out our hot new Goosebuds merch, you can go over to etsy.com slash shop slash Goosebuds, or you can also go to our website, goosebudspod.com. We got all kinds of stuff. We got stickers. We got hats. We got shirts. We got big shirts that are also hooded. We got tiny <laughs> shirts. Tiny. So we got shirts in small, shirts in medium, shirts in large, shirts in extra large, shirts in extra, extra large. I drew one of the shirts. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. Somebody got a sticker today. I saw that, uh, our friend, a, a listener of the show, I cannot remember their name at this moment. Do not reveal. But Do not reveal. They got a sticker. Oh, yeah. And it looked good. It was a good Yeah, plan. yeah. Orders are starting to go out. Uh, you can get a Mr. Skelly, the Dom designed. And we also have, uh, some Ball, ball boys, boys, which will make more sense when you see it, designed by, uh, our friend Kayla Klein. Uh, and there's some pretty cool stuff on there, like a Goosebuds just hat. You could you can rock around and people are going to think it's either for goosebumps or maybe for a weed store. Either way, it's a really cool hat. Or just yeah. tell them you bought it in another country and you thought it was the right it was a real hat. By goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, oh, you know what I, you know what dawned on me? Do, does the goose does my design does that come in just white or is there a black option? I believe there is a gray option for it. Okay, good. good. Yeah, there's a there yeah, there's a heather gray. Great. Perfect. Great. Love it. Uh, we've been working on it for a while, and it's really awesome to get it out there. And and please check it out. And if you do buy any of the merch, please send us photos of it. We want to see you, like, rocking the, the, your your hot new shirts and hats and stickers all over your, your beautiful bodies. I'll say it. I'll say it. I want to see Goosebuds all around the world, okay? I know you're out there. I know you're listening mm-hmm, all mm-hmm. around the world. Get your Goosebuds merch freaking floss it out there freaking walk around get <laughs> crazy get picture taken. sexy cool pictures only yes show us the worldwide connection of goose buds oh, give it I'm to really us excited. i'm really excited for everyone to get it this orders have already been going out uh and it's we got a few uh copies here we you know we tested it out before we we put it public and they're just it's just real cool it's just real cool to get to rock like love of you know you guys and my friends yeah i want to see it i want to see it in the real world I want to see someone um, on the I street have, wearing it. I have it. some new things at ComfyJunior.com. I have some prints of Paperback Paradise uh, ch- ch- uh, p- 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 book covers that I've done. Um, I'm, I've only got three prints right now, but they're good, and I'm going to get more. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I'm also getting in T-shirts. One shirt. I Actually, Threadless was stocking it, but I'm actually going to stop working with Threadless. So I've got one shirt. It's a black shirt with pink text and it says proud pervert okay we Be know a proud you're out pervert, there. Yeah. we know everyone on this show right now is a perv and everyone listening to the show is a perv because we grew up with the internet so embrace it and get your proud pervert shirt and then i've also got a um a god's punishment shirt coming in it's not done yet but uh <laughs> they're being printed this weekend i think is that i saw that dumb is that in the uh animorphs aesthetic yeah so it was an animorphs vhs tape that i had uh a doctored and uh it uh it uh it, 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 I, I was really happy with it it came out pretty well if you want to see awesome. it go to paperback paradise instagram or twitter and if you liked if you liked our episodes of Goosebuds, the rpg check out my podcast pretend friends chad was just on it oh and my God. he plays a character that I'm not going to reveal to you if you haven't listened to the podcast. You need to you need to experience him. Chad is in the first season. He came back on season three, which is the continuation of our first season story. Check it out. Pretend, friends. It's on all the podcast stuff. <laughs> I liked that ending. That was good. Uh, and, of course, if you want to support the show, you can do it in a couple different ways. You can follow us on Twitter, at GooseBudsPod. You can go and leave us a review on iTunes or Stitcher or whatever podcast app you do. It actually helps us a lot in getting uh, eyes on the podcast from new listeners. You can also, if you really want to support the show and get access to cool bonus episodes like a Camp GooseBuds we just put out today, you can go to Patreon.com slash GooseBuds and uh, check out all the cool stuff we have. Please do. Yeah, support the show. You know, I just got to say... In this time of craziness, 
it is great that you can support independent artists online because that's how the show is made. You guys support our show and we're able to make it without freaking any corporate censor. Freaking we can talk about coronavirus, all the 9-11 jokes I want to say, all the freaking stuff that some people love and some people hate. We get to do it because <laughs> you support it. So thank you. Yes. And if you are going to be quarantined, we'll still be here. Goose button. Goose butts. Guys, Check it out. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Quarantine yourself. And uh, seal all your windows and doors, and I'll see you online. And to all a goose bud. <laughs> Rats, dig me out of here. Rats, end the show. <laughs> Chew the cords. <laughs> twist them. <laughs> Bye. This episode of Goose Buds is brought to you by these wonderful people. Kale Clinton. Stefan Jive Turkey Kovara. Hollis Hornbeak. Buddy Morrill. Cameron Murphy Audio. Clayton C. David Cron. Fred Atkins. Josh Robertson. Michael McDowell. Mickey C. Mike Lanteri. Nathan Dolezal. Nick Hinkle. Ale Cade. Jared Mason. Jim Greaves. Mel Dipson, Not to Pearl Henderson. Joshua Lopez. Zang Keith. Afshin. Danky Mix Zanky. Jennifer Britton. Aaron T. Strunk. Dango Twist. Victor. Brian Wells. Zentacles hasn't done a funny name on Patreon in a while. It's back. Drew Applegate. <laughs> <laughs> Becca McWilliams. Stealth Bates. Jonas Blatterman. Joseph Miranda. Patrick Reynolds, Robert Boone, Scott Colopy, Jason Crooker, John Keaty, Third Sergio, Christina Doling, Clay Castle, Colin and I wear Billabong. Good to know. Miguel Pardo, still a pretty decent dog, generally speaking. Calf. Joe, remember to save early and often. Scott. Matt, the half court warlock bachelor. Paul Grasso. Trans rights. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Walter Fraser. Ishak Arafin. Maddie. Matthew Cryptozoophilia. Reinfected. Wait, does that mean he wants to fuck Bigfoot? Oh. Who doesn't want to fuck Bigfoot? I mean, yeah, well, yeah. I, sweet love is just good fucking, okay? Let me just say yeah. that. Yeah. I'd suck on his nip. I'd suck on his hairy ass <laughs> nip. Yeah, yeah, I take, I, I do a little flick. Uh, <laughs> I get his matted nip hair in my mouth. <laughs> Sniggy Van Peepers. Taylor Dierks. The Puerto Rican Dream. Tyler Penner. Alan Saylor. Chosen One. Cody Redfield. Gregory D. Warren. James Roy. Mikey Jello. Sam Hash. Aiden Alexander Dace. Alistair Perez. Bradford Coulter. Dylan Vaughn. Jin K. Jonas Engman. Rich Hillborn. Toothless. With the Barry the Whistler Bothwood. <laughs> Trendy Moron. Joshua Jacob Witz. Justin Wagman. Two in the slink. One also in the slink. All three in the slink then. Nice. Uh, cardboard Walk. Connor Church. Frank and Stein. He got you. Who, who, who? <laughs> Who has donated you to our Patreon? I'm really like spooked by Frankenstein. <laughs> Goblin Library. Levithan. Ryan Shell. Tommy Obligatory Holiday Name Change Hoey. Tommy's covered for all of them. <laughs> yeah, he's probably pretty good. <laughs> Vincent Modica. Luke Noodles. Heath Robinson. Rug. Up in Champ. Zam Bambino. Alicia Graf. Anthony Kuabara. Brock Graham. Hugh Bolin. Joe Gorman. Carl. Mole Oyster. <laughs> I, that name just hit me. Blake Alvarez. Elusive Koala. Jake Young. Yanni Markovina. Paul's Christmas Sock. I love that sock. Jesus Christ. Mm. Bony. Boss Skeleton. Those ones work together. I love it. Brooke X. Christian Van Skeever. Corey Shelley. Jessica Zyball. Joe. Nathan Remick. Divaldi. Low Belly Hate Me. <laughs> Brian Habagood. Jeremy Lowe. Zach 
Connor. Anxious serve. Read, stupid dyke. Burn your rap stepdad. Aw. Nice. Foolish for Deborah. Joey Evans. Jordan Lockwood. Valhalla Black. KOI's Gamgee. Joe Spooky Digital Ghost Ooh. Tierney. Patreon underscore donator, comma, yo. Cameron Hansen. <laughs> Swag Bumps Nightmare at Camp Yolo Squire. Ooh. Tom Whitham. Chaboy Mrs. Purple Ketchup. I do not at all, but good for you. <laughs> Danger tits. I only miss the green kind. Sure. John the Howling Eye Duda. Llama Consultant. Hmm. Andrew Jadzak talks to Joe Para about Goose Buds. Please do. Aww. Get him on the show. Etono Moore. Generally depressing. Goose time. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Lord Cornwallis. Andrew Evans. Cardamom Birkenbino. <laughs> Elizabeth Steenweg. Lady Story Weaver. Mm. Y'all ever lick on socks? I gotta say no. I Too haven't. dry. Too dry for me. No. Yeah, no. yeah. Chase and Daddy's Happy Apple Boy. <laughs> Chad swallowed a whole apple after all. <laughs> um, Yoplin. <laughs> Boz Gerritsen. Chris Pittman. Dan. Hey, Dan. Thanks. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> Dylan E. Adds. Just Garrett. Egg baby. I love an egg baby. Hey, fellas, we're all smelling real good. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please let me go home. I don't want to read names anymore. Chad, how could you? Why would you say that? I I cool. always have to say this one, and I love your names. Buffcat. I know. Chad is the one who's most wants to not go home for this. Calamity Carl. <laughs> Dylan McCann. Germ Juice. Jonas Enavoldson. Sean Minogue. SNES Chalmers. Jacob the Rough Handed. Nick Johnson. From 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 the Zoe De Chanel show? Wait. Anyway. There might be another one out there. Uh, <laughs> sure. Arachnid Delight. John Pigeon Hat Barber. Scotty Pippen! Whoa, Whoa we got Scotty. okay. There's only one That's of those. That's definitely the Scotty Pippen. <laughs> Stephen Day. Kate and Franklin. Chip Handsome. Dak Prinky. Dr. Worm. I heard they call him that. <laughs> Love that song. <laughs> Jared Nutty. Matt McLellan. Hold on a fucking second here, guys. R.L. Slink. Uh, oh, you stay away from me. You, you stay away from me, R.L. Slink. I mean, thank you for donating. Uh, uh, guys, I don't want to worry more, but uh, Stink Lich. Oh wow. God, we're being invaded. Scary. We're being invaded by scary guys. Zach Bush. Adam Maracco. Help me, other two guys. I can't <laughs> stop jacking while I... Re <laughs> Sorry, we do this again. It's so good because you got them both. Yeah. <laughs> Help, Help me, me other, other two, two guys. Other two guys. I can't <laughs> stop jacking while we read these names. That's a good oh, one. Oh, that was well done. Jeremy Bowser. <laughs> J.R. Chip. Nathan Whitmore. Plushy Pal. Ryan Carroll. Sadie Kitson. I'm going to go ahead and say Sade Kitson. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Sade Kitson. Sade. I wish R.L. Stein were my dad. I'm sick to my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Megan McCormick Mason will come and get you some medicine. Thanks. Don. Thank you. <laughs> also, thank you to Andrew Barrow. Hood Lemon. Horse McPowers. Love it. Manuel Avalez. Ninja Bread Man. Yes. <laughs> Spencer Thomas Kimball. Tanya Turtle. Wacky username. Bad Vibes Jr. Oh, I like that. Um, I gotta say Brett. I gotta, I gotta say what's up to Brett. Brett, thanks. He's gotta goddamn say it. <laughs> Daniel Hirschberger. Got little old moi pretty freaked. Mm -hmm. Too the true. Wolf, baby. Too true. Um, All the time. Robert Edward Hodgson Jr. Chick. Deja Monet. Russell Gore. Your shoes are untied. What? <laughs> I don't wear shoes. I'm wearing socks. Adam Bauer. Ashley W. Cameron. Desk nameplate. Juan Jalapeata. Lords. <laughs> Wonderskin. Jordan Slamsey. Muscles Bear. Oh. Wow, look at oh. all of the oh. look at all of the fantasy fiction names in this one. Right? <laughs> 
Parker Lee. And Stinkline the Goblin. A bunch of new fantasy fiction fans came in. Thank you. Swinging for, in. Swing on in. Thank you all. Thank you. We love you. We love and, you. Um, don't freaking make fun of us when you're not listening to the show. We know when <laughs> that's happening. <laughs> but do make us make fun of each other with your names. We love you. Yes, please. Love that. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. But no mean stuff. <laughs>